Hey everyone, this is Olivier, your host on the IoT Show. Today we have a very special episode for you. Uh, it's an episode about build and how we're preparing for it. We're here in building 40. 40 is the home of the Azure IoT engineering team. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop here and there in this building for you to meet the engineers, the speakers for build who are preparing content demos and announcements for you. So we're gonna stop in the coffee shop, we're gonna stop in the kitchen, we're gonna stop in some secret room that we have up there. Don't miss any of that immediately on the IoT show. We're here on the second floor. That's one of the main kitchen of the building where people are getting their morning coffee and so on. I found Emmanuel. Emmanuel, I just picked him in uh, in the IoT Edge uh, workspace and it was pretty hectic down there. You guys are preparing to ship stuff, right? <laughs> lots of scrambling going on and yes, lots of demos to prepare. Yeah. So we are actually gearing up. There's going to be one session on, uh, on IoT Edge. Uh, you'll be presenting with Chipalo on that session. Can you tell us a little bit, without spoiling the news, the main things people should expect from this session? Yeah, sure. So. Uh, several announcements, uh, some about how to uh, go into more uh, production uh, grade environments with more like high availability scenarios, uh, how to do machine learning at the edge in a more scalable way, uh, how to do integrations as well with uh, many partners, um, and how to like, build your solutions and get started uh, in an easier way. Awesome. So guys, don't miss Emmanuel and Chappelle for this ITH session. Let's go check out some other place in the Building 40 right now. So we're here on the third floor of the uh, Building 40 where IoT leaves. And uh, this is one of my favorite rooms in the whole building. It's called the Speakeasy Room. And you see this is a regular wall, but no, it's not. Actually, there's a secret room behind that wall. Let's go in there. Hey, and we have Will here. Hey, hey how's Will, it going? how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for coming, Will. Yeah. So Will, um, I hear that you are in the Cognition team, right? Cognition team, yes. Yeah. So what is it exactly? So it's the team that's working on HoloLens and computer vision and mixed reality. Awesome. Yeah. So we're here to talk about the build session that you and Matthew uh, from the IoT team are preparing, yep. um, which is about? Uh, we'll be talking about Azure IoT Digital Twins okay. and how to take information from the digital twin and see it in context in your real world with mixed reality. So can you give me a, a concrete example? I guess you're going to have nice demos. So without spoiling the whole thing, because people I'm sure are already getting excited, but a concrete example of what kind of scenarios uh, you would be actually mixing mixed reality and IoT. Sure, it's, it's a good question. So the digital twin is all about connecting lots of information to this virtual uh, world, and you often see that data in dashboards yep. uh, that are sometimes complex to navigate. And so imagine taking that information and actually putting it in your physical space. So imagine being able to walk up to a machine, an asset or device, and be able to hold up your phone, or if you have a HoloLens, you can interact with it heads up, hands free, and see that data over the device and be able to see the live telemetry coming out of it uh, so that you can make you know, better decisions. Awesome. So like basically, the, all the visions video we had like a few years ago about IoT and HoloLens, yes. that's actually taking shape and becoming real, right? That's right, yeah. So we'll show an experience around that. Yeah. yeah. So you guys will see an experience, we'll see an actual demo, but you also get to learn how you do that, right, as that's, a developer. That's right, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Will, for coming over. Yeah. Uh, thanks, excited. guys. Let's go and see another of our guests. So we're back in the lobby of Billy 40 and because not everyone is working uh, in the office today and, and every day, so Peter is one of the folks that are actually working remotely. Hey, Peter, how are you doing? I'm great, Olivia, how are you today? Awesome, Ashley. I see you're working in your lab, actually. Yeah, I work from my home in Denver um, and my office is my maker lab, so I've always got projects on the go all around me. <laughs> you're lucky you. So you're one of the speakers for Build. Uh, you're gonna have a session about a few things, things that we can talk about other things you, you cannot talk about. This is actually something that should uh, interest you folks. Uh, but still, Peter, can you tell us some about what's going to happen during this session of build? Sure. Um, I would say like, ultimately the session is about how we, we at Microsoft are simplifying IoT. Uh, Azure IoT Central hosted solution platform that you can use to build out the cloud side and the business side of your solution. Um, but there are also complexities that happen on the, the devices side. Uh, and in this talk, we're going to be covering all of that and try to present kind of a cohesive picture of, of why we've got the best set of solutions to help you build out what you need to do to get business value from IoT. So what should someone expect from the session? So yeah, in this session, you're going to see a lot of demos of, of Azure IoT Central. Um, you're also going to see how we can use the various other technologies in and around IoT Central to allow you to go faster and farther with your IoT solution and focus your efforts where you need to focus them, which is on the products you're building 
and on the business outcomes that you want to get. Peter, you did a great job at tiptoeing around the topics you're not supposed to talk about. That's great. Uh, so guys, they should actually uh, give you a little hint that you should not miss the session. There's going to be big announcements at Build around IoT, and Peter will be actually presenting demos with some other folks around these new announcements. Announcements around devices, but also around IoT Central, right, Peter? Absolutely. It's going to be a great talk. We're going to talk about a lot of really interesting things. I'm pretty sure anybody who's even slightly interested in IoT is going to be sad if they miss this. Awesome. Thanks, Peter, for joining us remotely, and talk to you soon. Uh, we are here on the third floor of Building 40 in front of one of the kitchens, and some developers have been having fun here, as you can see. And uh, we have Shindrika with us. Shindrika, thanks for joining us in between meetings. Thanks for having me. So Shindrika is the PM lead for Time Series Insights, and um, we will be co-presenting a session, right? Yep. And so this session will be about setting the stage for Azure IoT services in the context of an IoT application. You learn a lot about how you can, you know, uh, get data from devices, extract insights, take action. And I wanted Shindrika actually to tell us a bit more about what's going to happen around data in that session. Right? Yeah. Um, IoT data is fairly complex to deal with, and a lot of it is time series. And we, we're providing with Time Series Insights the ability to bring data fairly easily into the cloud and be able to process that data, store that data, and analyze that data to provide value in, with uh, scenarios like predictive maintenance, et cetera. So in the session, I will be going through some deep demos that will show you those capabilities, and uh, we're super excited to be here. And uh, maybe you can actually, without spoiling the news, um, you can tell us about uh, what's new. Actually, we have some like bunch of things that are new to Time Series right. Insights, right. some that will be announced at Bill that you don't talk today right. about. Yeah. But guys, you should be excited because because we're bringing uh, value-add capabilities inside of Time Series Insights to provide industrial IoT-grade analytics with warm and cold storage capabilities and the ability to analyze that data in a seamless way inside a managed service. So guys, if you're uh, not in the IoT business today, well, you'd be surprised what your developer skills can do in an IoT application, especially if you're an expert in the data area. Come check out the session. Chandrika will have fantastic demos. I'm looking forward to see you there. Uh, then we're going to check out someone else in the Xbox room. Thank you. So now let's go to that room where Pamela is actually working on something for build. Hey, Pamela, how are you? Oh. Uh, I am working on the MX chip lab at are the you? Hackspace. Are you really? Um, yeah, no. I, got, I got Visual Studio Code open right now. And I'm okay. oh. awesome. Bring so, it. Bring it. Bring it on. Okay, Pamela, so let's get started. Okay, what is it that you were supposed to work on right now? The hands-on labs for the hack space at Build. Uh, we're actually going to be running about five to six different labs where you can actually get hands-on time with the products and a bunch of different dev kits. And we have a bunch of engineers us yeah. there to answer questions and uh, yeah, come pick our brains. So basically meet the Azure IoT engineering team, come play with the Azure IoT technology, and, and then, you know, uh, get to spend time with us, right? Yes, That's yes. About it. It's right next to the Starbucks oh. uh, cafe. So come and uh, meet us at the Good. IoT booth. Get your coffee fix and then meet oh, us yeah. at the booth. We'll be wired. Uh, and uh, play with Azure IoT. <laughs> yeah! Bring it! Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. I'll give you that one. <laughs> so guys, uh, if you're not excited about IoT at Build this year, I don't know what you need. Uh, we're doing our best yeah. here. Uh, so come and meet us. We'll be, we'll be down there. We'll be presenting sessions. We'll be running labs yeah. on the hack space. We'll be presenting demos on the booth. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, another last thing to convince you to come and see us. There's something wrong that's been inserted in this video today that if you find it, you come to one of us and uh, you tell us what you think was wrong, uh, apart from my accent or something, uh, <laughs> then eventually we'll give you an MX chip board uh, yeah. to the first one who finds out. Yeah, just approach Olivier and myself at uh, the Hackspace booth. Well, see you at Build. Bye. Bye, guys.